welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the year 2018 and the year 2018 is another hair sign here um it is a hair from dualities dualities come in because it is ruled by the energy of justice okay it is ruled by the energies of justice i want to say thank you thank you thank you first of all to um all of my subscribers all of my new subscribers thank you to all of you who have support me on my journeys um who have been helping me in so many ways um thank you for um the wonderful um year that i've had with you guys um the year 2017 was a transformation anyway this is a wonderful new year i'm hoping um that you will um, share these videos and thumbs up likes and shares make sure that these videos reach a lot of people because there is a lot of people who needs help okay so here we go um this year is going to be a year of duality it's the year of the shift there's a shift going on okay some people will feel the shift some people won't feel the shift and um once you're awakened the shift will come in for you guys so a lot of people are okay because as of today um doing the videos um i this was a year that was very very uh, the, the research and all that stuff that has to be done before i can do these videos as um it's a lot and uh, I had to take a break and uh, um, now uh, we're back to do it the energies in this year is going to be powerful um, on the 12th of December 12 12 12 is a shift um, today um, is the 12th of December that I start doing these videos because I wasn't supposed to do it before I had to wait until the shift comes in because um, it's a duality that is happening on earth at this time okay so the duality that is happening on her is that there is a shift of consciousness but yet still a shift that some people are going to feel a shift some people are not going to feel a shift and what I'm talking about is that um, there's a lot of people that are shifting from out the three dimension to the fourth dimension and people who are shifting to the five dimension and the fifth dimension so um, these shifts and these things are happening at this time okay so we need to understand that and we need to realize how um, this shift is going to affect you guys um, in this year okay because some of you are still vibrating in 2017 um, the um, the Sagittarians are still um, vibrating in 2016. Sagittarians and the Capricorns, they are moving, they're shifting out um, to a higher energy vibration. And um, um, some of you already is in 2017, and some of us are still in 2016, trying to finish up 2016. Okay so um, i'm back so what is happening now with the shift of consciousness and the shift of all that is happening on this planet is that some people are going to be awakening and seeing things and understanding things some people will start seeing two suns in the sky some people will start seeing more moons some people will start seeing on the planetary aspects some people will start seeing um um higher dimensional beams coming in some people um, are going to be so awakened and alert to everything that is going on around them and this is going to be powerful because um, the year 2018 is going to be the year of duality so um, not everyone is getting the shift of consciousness at the same time because as I've explained some people are already um, in 2017 and um, the shift is actually affecting um, the Aries, uh, um, the the Aquarians, uh, um, it's, it's mostly affecting the Aquarians and uh, the first half of the Pisces, okay, because um, in a year, <clears throat> your birthday start, um, the zodiac year, your birthday start after 
your year in a year so what I'm saying is that if you were born on the 12th of December tomorrow begin your zodiac year of the year 2017 okay so um, a lot of people are still vibrating in 2017 and the shift is happening for a lot of people and if you notice how the shift it is taking a different um, a level of consciousness that it is happening not everyone is going through the same process at the same time so um, it's gonna be powerful it's gonna be 2018 is just going to be a year of revel revelation a lot of stuff is going to be happening you saw this happening in 2017 and 2018 is just going to be the same but as a more integrated and integrity um, state of mind and this is going to bring the planet um, a lot of love but higher energy vibration that is going to come in for the planet so you know we need to be um, um, aware of these things and um, um, the, you know especially um, for the people because I've been realizing that there is I've gotten a lot of readings in 2012 and what I've realized is that a lot of people are awakening. a lot of people are realizing who they are and a lot of people awakening and they want to know the truth and they want to be awake um, so um, and this is powerful this is positive this is a self of awareness but yet still we are bringing in positive positive energies and powerful energies and these energies are going to help us to shift not only ourselves but shift the energy of the planet what is happening is that a lot of people are realizing that they no longer connect to the three-dimensional level they are moving forward to the fourth dimensional level and the fifth dimensional level i have spent um most of my life in the fifth dimension um energies because i've always um said and if you listen to all my videos i've always said i am not of this planet um because i can't vibrate with the energies on this planet because of the amount of hate that people carry within their souls which i um i don't resonate with because um i'm from um <clears throat> a planet that there is love there is love and peace uh integrity truth understanding um a, a planet where we are um we respect each other and we have respect for each other so um <clears throat> <clears throat> this is where this planet is going because once you shift to the fifth dimension and a lot of people in 2017 was in the fourth dimension because they kind of realize and kind of understand what was happening and um, the three dimension is where we were all born in because I had to came in on that vibrational energy and that 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 was where all, most of us all of us as we were born on this planet we were born in the three dimensional level but I've, I've always been balancing out because um, I shift from dimension to dimension and sometimes and I've seen this in 2017 was a year that I really understand myself and understand what is the journey and what is it that I'm here for because um, as I looked at the, the amount of things that happen and the amount of situations and the amount of connection groups and I'm sitting there and I'm wondering um, you know when will you all be awake and when will you still understand I was I was you know because um, your angels and guides um, each and every person has a blueprint and in my blueprint there is so much um, that I need to work out with other people because I don't create karma um, I help people clear their karma and understand who they are so um, what happened in 2017 because I know that that was going to be one of the the, the greatest shift and after that shift then um, the connection of who you are will alert you so after 2017 when everyone has gone through the energy vibration of 2017 then you are going to 
um, choose to stay in the three dimension or you're going to move to the fourth dimension or you're going to move to the fifth dimension okay so this is exactly what is taking place at this time on this planet and all we're here to do and all I can give myself as an example is to help people to understand who they are and to see their true light the true light within you and each and every one of you what what is the positive what do you uh, hold inside of you and uh, what your soul is and how do you see and you connect with things people situations and understand that um, we all sign a contract to be on this planet at this time and I um, um, I didn't reincarnate to come here to um, be a part of the system but I came in with love love and light and with love and light um, light carries information there is where you receive the wisdom and understanding from okay I am changing up changing up because um, there's so many things happening I see a lot of people who are trying to bring in the same sort of a thing and people start saying energy vibration but the word energy vibration has a more powerful meaning behind it um, that most of us do not understand I remember someone wrote me and said don't worry about what other people are doing or saying it's what you are doing that is very important which was very good because I I, I, I begin I begin and, and I know what I hold in my soul and know the energy vibration no one was looking at the energy vibration of the of the hurt of the day of the month of, of anything and then people started coming in with that so I guess I change um, something of the understanding of most of the people who have been here there's a lot of people that think that um, 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 this is a profiting or money-making thing it's not <laughs> really and truly people it's not um, um, because I've been doing this for so many years from 2015 until now it's not a money-making thing it is something that you enlighten people and you empower them so it's not a money-making thing these are I use this time um, and give give my time away freely um, for people to kind of understand and focus with themselves and understand certain aspects of themselves okay um, what I'm going to do um, I'm changing up everything so um, this reading is not going to be as long as last year um, because I'm going to do the extended readings that, that if other people wants the extended readings and the extended readings will be upload so here we go and we're looking and remember that this year is a duality year it's number two it's working with the duality because um, the consciousness is moving so some people will choose to stay in the 3d um, earth and some people will choose to move to the 4d some people who are already in the 5d is going to more focus in the 5d so it's people who carry pure love uh, integrity truth honesty they're going to um, stay in the five dimension so if you have seen um, a lot of injustice and if you are someone who is honest upright positive and really wants to empower other people and wants to help other people you will constantly stay in the 5d reality okay um, I said dimension because it's actually dimensions it's actually that you have these um, you have the 3d 4d and the 5d there um, there is not a lot maybe the Buddha is in the seventh the seventh dimension um, maybe maybe the Buddha and the Buddhists but not a lot of people have gone that far to the five dimension because it's hard for me even to um, stay balanced in the five dimension I can swift in and then I'm, I'm out I think I'm 
um, balancing because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of the transformation are happening to myself and I know a lot of star seeds uh, also is feeling this transformation and seeing these things happening and um, uh, you know there, there, there is so much that I have gone through because I know that 2017 was not going to be um, a year that everything runs smooth but yet still I had to do it because it's already in my in my blueprint so this is how a lot of people are you know going with the flow because I had to go with the flow because I realized that every time I, w I would go against the flow it's like I get a big push boom back so um um, it's, it's a learning process that we're going to go through and, and, and trust me people you're still going through 2017 so you're still going to feel that the, the um, Aquarians are the one who are coming out of it because they're about to start 2018 which is very good and it is uh, um, the energy of the um, the energy of uh, um, the um the, the you know this is a year for the liberans because what is going to happen in this year is that the liberans are bringing in balance for a lot of people so you get to choose what um will you stay in the three dimension will you move to the fourth dimension or will you try to understand what is happening on this planet and the shift that is happening okay because a lot of people are going to start seeing things I see I'm having a lot of connection with a lot of air people because last year it was the wheel of fortune and the number one wheel of fortune it was a fire energy number one was also a fire energy so last year was a really a fire year this year <clears throat> is a year because you had um, number one that um, it was a fire and a, and 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 the uh, um, element fire element and the air element so last year and this is why you have gone through so many things in 2017 because it was um, two energies together that is working together fire and hair so I really experienced the fire and ye and air energies last year well I'm still doing 2016 but it's as if I'm getting all of that a year before so when I reach the year for it to happen, I'm actually, it's as if my timeline has been speed up. So a lot of people will find out that it will um, understand these things, what I'm saying, but um, the norm, you know, some people won't, but um, you, <laughs> you'll get to understand it anyway when it's going to come out and when it's going to work out. Okay, well, let me find my eyes. <laughs> okay ladies and gentlemen let's go and see what is happening there is so much to say um i think i better make another video for this because there's absolutely so much to say okay we're going to um you know jump right in the reading because um i'm going to do an extended version but um let's look and see what's happening in January there is going to be the energy of the nine of swords a lot of people are going to be in disarray disarray in the sense of what is happening to me what is it that I need to do I need to understand what is happening how can I change the energy vibration of myself what is it that I need to do and all you need to do is positivity you have the energy of strength um, the energy of strength because um, the nine of swords is always your thoughts and being not understanding what is happening around you and uh, you need to find inner strength to cope with this so um, for some um, Capricorns who late um, late Capricorns so who be who are born in January you're going to feel this energy and for the Aquarians who were born the second half of January they are going to feel this energy which is just going to come over very powerful to you as we move on in February we have the energy of the two of ones a lot of positivity is coming in in February February is going to be um, a month of a fire and there's two fire energies here and this is good because a lot of new situations are going to be happening for a lot of people especially the Leos um, 
the Leo's the uh, Aries and the Leo Aries and uh, the Aquarius, the Sagittarians, a lot of wonderful thing, and especially for the Sagittarians, the Wheel of Fortune is um, um, they are governed by the planet of Jupiter, so they are going to have um, have a lot of success. So you Sagittarians in February, February is going to be a wonderful, powerful month for you Sagittarians and the Leos and the Aries. Okay, but the Sagittarians are going to feel it because Jupiter. It's going to come in and bring you a lot of luck okay as we look at this we have the energy of the tower the energy of the tower um, in March the energy of the tower comes up with the energy of the hangman this is a water energy so it's going to be a very emotional month for some people and uh, the people who are going to uh, be affected by the energy of this tower or um, basically and it's going to affect most of uh, the Pisces, um, the Cancers, and the um, Scorpion. So in March, this is going to be felt by um, these um, water people. Most of them are going to feel this energy. And some, um, because it's um, the tower, there is going to be a lot of transformation, a lot of disruptions in the water people lives. So you're looking at the Pisces and the Scorpions and the Cancer that is going to feel this energy in March. I'm sorry, I said February, but it's March. Let's move on and let's look at April, which is um, a very much of a fire month. It's uh, um, where stability comes in for a lot of people. A lot of people are going to feel the stability, the energy of the fours are here. And this is going to be a wonderful positive stability for a lot of people. There's also going to be victory and success. A lot of movements. A lot of people will be changing resident in the month of April. A lot of people will be um, changing residence in the month of April. A lot of new things are going to be happening. A lot of stuff is going to be um, transpiring. And uh, um, a lot of you are going to be making a lot of changes, especially in the month of April and these are going to be very good positive changes so um, it's as if the universe is blessing a lot of people in April as we look at May and a wonderful another um, wonderful energy because in May a lot of people will be planting so that in August they can be reaping new things and this is good because what is happening is that you have the seven of Pentacles and the Empress and this is so wonderful because it's two earth signs together so um, May is going to be wonderful um, it's going to be it's as if the years start to pick up from April that a lot of people are going to start planting start um, looking to build new things and uh, put new situations for the earth people may is going to be as a profound wonderful year for you Taurus Virgo and Capricorns as we move on and we look at the month of June we have another four so there's a lot of balance that is coming in um the um in 2018 and uh, really a lot of balance because you have the four of water um and the sun so whatever regrets that you have whatever regrets that other people had in the beginning of the year the energy of the sun is going to come out in june so your first half of the year is going to finish with a wonderful wonderful um positive energies oh my god I'm doing this anyway you don't need to see my face to be seeing this so my son came over and he moves my stuff okay let me just try and get this um, back into shape because I don't know what my son did to this so let's get the camera going and let's see what is happening here so I hope that you guys can see this I never get to make it so um, my apologies for it I can't even see it myself so okay so as we look at July July we have the energy of the message of water coming in and with the message of water this is from um, 
a lot of group of people who are going to be connecting there is going to be a lot of changes that is going to be happening on this planet so a lot of changes is going to be happening with groups organization and that sort of a thing so let's see how that is going to work out for you guys because this is going to be powerful it's going to be um, a wonderful change so um I don't like to give bad news so um, look and see what is going to transpire with um, um, floods and, and and storm and that sort of a thing in July as we move on we have the um, page of water this is new love coming in and you have the energy of temperance so um, again in um, July August you have new love coming in um, for a lot of people but yet still you have the energy of the two um, balancing and this is water and hurt water and earth the element of water and hurt is coming in in the month of August so this is going to be wonderful and it's going to be positive because there is obviously a cleansing that will be going on and this cleansing you need to learn to balance out the situation so um, August, uh, September, you have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is another energy of worries. Um, the Ten of Swords is really another um, energy of worries. And um, it, it, it comes with the energy of the devil. So um, whatever it is, be aware that um, there are people and situations and that sort of a thing that is, you know, that is really at a rate there is just people who are going to be staying in the three dimension because um, these two together is just letting you know that there are some people that are going to basically just stay in the three dimension so um, not to worry um, you will all see the changes as I do the monthly readings um, we're looking further um, so we had September july august september now we have october um we are at october we have temptation um coming up and we have temptation with the hermit so another spiritual time another spiritual situation um there is a lot of stuff that is going on there's a lot of changes that is coming up because we're working on the duality energies so we have temptation and this temptation is uh, the energy of the devil coming up again so beside each other and the energy of the hermit that you have to go and look within to understand whatever is going on so um, you can see the changes in the year that is coming up okay um, it's 2018 is really going to be a game changer just like 2017 it's as if these um, two last year before we go to 2020 is going to be the game change another water energy and this is so weird because uh, um, it is the energy of justice and balance and and you know weighing the, the the scale of justice but we have the energy of the star that comes out with this so this is going to be um, the month of October is going to be good for a lot of psychic people um, it's going to be good um, the energy of the star comes out so this is going to be extremely positive in the sense because your psychic your intuition telepathic a lot of people will be finding out that they have other gifts and extra gifts that are coming in so you know this 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 is just going to be um, happening for a lot of people and in December um, in December this is going to be good because you have the ten of wands and this ten of wands is actually a positive energy and you have the energy of the lovers so this you know you're handing the gear on a very very positive note because you finally connect in with the energy of love so this is going to be good because December is going to be actually a month where there is going to be a lot of love new stuff coming in a wonderful energies and surprises that are coming in so this is going to be good so I'm not sure if I will do um, I'm, I'm, I'm really really not sure if I am going to be doing uh, oh, my son change my stuff and play around with my 
my thing okay so I'm not really sure if I'm going to do um, the energy vibration for the month because um, you know a lot of stuff I'm going to be busy and that sort of a thing so I have to kind of figure Okay, so we have the Ascendance Master um, Orion that is happening for us. So um, he, um, this is an universe, um, the Orion universe, and it says the Great Master of Orion invites you to visit them in meditation or in your sleep to receive a download of cosmic wisdom. This is an honor, so prepare yourself with intention during the day by showering, lighting a candle, um, playing classical music or walking in nature, then you will receive much spiritual light. Orion is a soul star chakra of the universe. You may find it helpful to ask Archangel Malirel, Mal 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 to lighten up your soul star chakra, which is above your head to facilitate this is your soul star chakra to facilitate um, all that is about to come in and this is just going to be wonderful I honor the master and you can say that I honor the masters of Orion and visit them in my sleep tonight so you can say the affirmation on the card I honor the masters of Orion and visit them in my sleep tonight the other energies that I'm going to use is uh, um, and all of these are being guided by um, the angels and guides and the universal beams because um, um, they um, choose what is happening um, on this planet and, and whatever energies and, and whatever is coming through so let's look and see the conscious spirit this is a wonderful energies that I've been working with I think they are profoundly um, wonderful and the conscious spirit is I love myself and others unconditional and nature loving relationships so it's going to be the art chakra this year so whatever is happening, um, we have the energy of the heart chakra that is coming in. The heart chakra is, is, is the most important thing because now I'm understanding why the planet, the great masters of Orion came in because the energy of the heart chakra comes in. So um, as I've said, we bring light and love to this planet and this is what is going to be happening. Okay, I have to go for a minute. I'm not turning off the camera. I'm back okay because this is um, it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's really really something doing these um, these readings so people do them in different ways but I'm just um, the powers that came in you know okay this is um, a new deck that came out the Akasic Tara the Akasic Tara I am still because um, I, I tried to get them in like a couple months before so I could um, deal with the energy so here we are this is what is happening so let's look at this let's look at this okay the Buddha preparedness the energy of the Buddha preparedness come out okay this is wonderful and I just spoke the name because the Buddha energies um, help you to understand that you're connected with everything that is happening in the universe okay um, number 13 um, one and, and and three is a four so it's the bill 
so it's as if you're bringing stability to who you are as a person and you're trying to cope with everything I love this energy of this card and the energy of the Buddha comes up and I just spoke about the Buddha and we're going to look because the energy that is transformation number 13 is always the energy of transformation energy of the Buddha comes out so obviously there is going to be a lot of transformation as I just channeled before and here the energy of number 13 comes out so let's see um, the energy of the Buddha it says the Buddha um, shows a time of inner preparation um, before acting before you can reach outside yourself you must reach within to find your power your purpose and your direction this period of time may feel a little like waiting and it appears so in your experience as life um, cause some point of action seems to be um, a still standing really though you're just taking the time that you required to prepare and to truly step into your power so this is wonderful this is wonderful because um, this is really a new deck and the Akashi records and why I wanted to use this card because um, it is very important to, um, to use and to understand um, the situation with the Akashic records so um, how we deal with certain situation and certain aspect of situations we need to understand how we align ourselves with certain aspect of ourselves and then we are going to be moving forward in um, a positive way okay and the last card we have because uh, you know it's always the four if you watch all my years that I'm doing this it's always um, about love and I'm changing up so we're doing instead of love we're doing abundance this year because a lot of people wants to know about their abundance and you have do the work it is not enough to dream or pray you also got to take the positive action step that you are divinely guided to take consistently working on your priority will make them flourish like lush birds uh, lush flowers in a garden so this is wonderful this is um, a very very positive uh, um, to end your reading again um, I will try and do um, the extended readings because there's so much um, for you guys there is um, really a lot that is coming in so um, I want to say namaste for now I am wishing you a wonderful positive year and I'm hoping that all your wishes and dreams will come out in this year there's going to be a lot of changes a lot of transformation so enjoy and I want to say namaste I will speak to you in January